Hi, you join me here at Bobco today. Uh, we're going to be talking about trout fishing today. Trout fishing is something that's been very close to me uh, over the last 30 years because it's how I got into fishing in the first place. Um, the lures I used to use back then and still use to this day is Maps Anglia Spinners uh, and Maps Comet Spinners. Uh, you get these in a range of colours. Um, I find personally the silver and copper ones uh, and the silver with red spot spots ones seems to be the best for me. The, these seems to be uh, these seem to produce more fish for me than anything else. Uh, the blue fox spinners uh, absolutely phenomenal as well. Uh, I feel these don't work quite as well as the MEPS ones, and if you go above a size three, they don't uh, work as well either. Um, Probably in the last four or five years I started using minnow patterns for catching trout and they've been very successful for me uh, over the years. Uh, anything from the Rapala original floating five and sevens uh, to these uh, Salmos here. Now these have caught me lots of fish, lots and lots of fish and they will continue to catch me lots of fish. Um, so Salmo this year I've brought out um, Two packs, um, the Salmo Trout Pack and the Discovery Trout Pack. Um, these will help save you a bit, bit of money uh, by buy, buying them in threes like this. Um, the Trout Pack, you know, you get all the colours in here that I, I use for, for trout. Mark's favourite colours, incidentally, the one at the bottom, uh, Rainbow Days one. Uh, mine is the trout pan. Caught me probably hundreds of trout over the years. These. Another firm favourite, Salmo Hornets. Um, I wouldn't go above a size four on these. Um, you know, they, these just aren't good for trout. These are absolutely phenomenal for perch as well. Um, I've had lots of perch on these. Um, Another, another few few baits. Relatively new on the market. These uh, I have got a few of these at home. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. Um, the Pro Rex Baby Cranks, uh, live rainbow trout. This one, uh, live brown trout. Uh, I've no doubt that these will catch plenty of fish as well. They have got the right body profile. So, moving on to your setup. Now, ideally speaking, you want an ultralight rod for this. Um, all depending uh, what size of trout you get in the rivers, your local rivers where you're from. Anything from small brooks, uh, you know, places like that where it won't contain a great deal of big fish. Um, something like this, little Gray's GR50. Um, coming in at 50, 55 quid is for note really. Um, ultra light rod, um, 5 foot 6 this one, ideal for small brooks. Uh, this casts 2 to 12 gram, absolutely ideal uh, for that sort of fishing. Um, you've also got Daiwa Pro Rex. Now this is the uh, PX version of this. Um, this is their bottom bottom range. However, bottom range, you know, it is a fantastic piece of kit to say it's bottom range. Um, one aspect of this rod, uh, the Daiwa put most rods of theirs, is the Daiwa V joints. Now, what this does is helps to eliminate flat spots on rods uh, where uh, spigot goes. Um, these rods drastically reduce that. The next model up in the Pro, Pro X range, uh, ultralight range, is the XR. Now the XR, absolute beautiful piece of kit. Um, same casting weight as the PX version, uh, 1 to 9. 
absolutely ideal for that. Um, these will actually do your bigger rivers as well. These these rods because they're a little they're a little bit more fast action than uh, the GR50. I'm moving on to the rod me and Mark use is the Savage Gear Custom Ultra Light. Now you get these in two sizes. You get them at a six foot three and a seven foot three. This is the seven foot three, uh, three to ten gram. This is the rod I prefer to use on big rivers like the River Air. You know what I mean? Especially the seven foot foot three version. I feel the seven foot three version, you can get a little bit more distance. So moving on to reels. I use a Shimano Nasuke on one of mine, uh, I think they retail for about 80 quid, again, good reel for the money, uh, two year guarantee uh, with a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, a more budget reel is the Quantum Throttle, now I really like these, um, they're light, we got these in probably a year and a half ago in the shop and they've done really well to be fair. Um, next up is the Fox Prism 2.5. Now you get these in three sizes as well. You get them in a thousand, a 2.5 and a 4,000. Um, the one aspect I do like about the Fox reel that I don't understand why other companies don't follow suit is because they make, they do this reel with a shallow spool um, as opposed to a deep spool. So there's no need uh, to back your reel out with any mono before putting your braid on. Braid wise, now, braid wise, there's pre plenty of Predator uh, braids on market. Uh, you know, anything from Savage Gear, Fox. I choose to use one uh, from the match fishing scene. Um, it's called Submerge uh, Matrix Feeder Braid um, in zero. Point eight. Now, the reason why I use this submerged feeder braid is Fox used to do one uh, called Fox Rage Soft Steel. Um, now, they discontinued the Soft Steel uh, uh, to bring out um, the new H strand and, uh, you know, braids like that. This stuff is the exact same stuff as the Fox Rage Soft Steel. Um, I'm glad I found it in here uh, because when I was using a uh, Soft Steel one, I feel it was a braid that never let me down. Never, never let me down. And I will con continue to buy it. One very important aspect uh, of any ultralight fishing, in my opinion, is fluorocarbon. Uh, fish can't see it. Um, fish can't see it. 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 Oh, hold on. Thanks for watching.